Joining us now is OG Okpa with stories trending around the world today. Good morning, OG. Good morning, Leila. Good morning, How are you? Good, Good morning, Dr. Abati. Good How morning, Lulu. I, I love this tundu. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> I can't believe this guy. It's the whole week, right? We will do it. Okay, this whole week. Then next week we will, right? Let's try the wave. <laughs> well, good morning to you viewers. We begin what's trending today in Nigeria. The residents of Lagos are not backing down in expressing their displeasure on the ban and operations of motorcycles and tricycles in the state. Since the ban on Okadas, there have been long queues at bus stations, increased bus fares, and insane traffic, with most Lagosians having to resort to trekking long distances to get to their destination, to further drive home their point. A peaceful protest with the hashtag Occupy Lagos, which is trending on Twitter, will be carried out this weekend on Saturday near the Eco Atlantic. Here are some reactions with the hashtag Occupy Lagos. One user with the actual name Occupy Lagos wrote, we are fed up and not backing down. A peaceful protest this Saturday is all we want and ask that everyone joins us to show their strength in numbers. Hashtag Occupy Lagos. Another user, Momo, wrote, this ban has caused a massive chain reaction that affects the lives of everyone in Lagos. We can neither continue nor afford to remain silent. Hashtag Occupy Lagos. Stressing the effect of the ban, one user, Yonggi Chu, posted a photo of the traffic gridlock in a section of Lagos, tweeting, traffic as seen in Lekki Tollgate today. Lagosians will know what a megacity looks like. We will occupy Lagos till 2020. Another user, Didi Munpro, wrote, I left Etimiyan Crescent on Victoria Island at by 3.45 p.m. yesterday. Got home at 12.03 a.m. I spent more than eight hours on the road because of traffic jam. I had to End my bold trip, come down from my car, and trekked from 1004 to TBS. Hashtag Occupy Lagos. Some users in support of the Akada ban also stressed their point. One user, Ife, wrote, If they can ban Okada in Kano, why should Lagos be the dumping ground for everyone? I support the ban of Akada in Lagos totally. Lagos state government should just find a, an alternative for Gokada and Ope. It's more reasonable that way than Lagos being a father Christmas to everyone. Hashtag Occupy Lagos is pointless. Another user, Kenny, posted a photo of the governor wearing a Lagos state traffic management uniform saying, if he keeps quiet, they will say he's not working. He's freeing up the unnecessary roundup roundabout on Lekki Ekpe Road. A painful decision to ban Okada and Keke. But in the long run, it will benefit us all. I am a strong PDP guy, but on this, I stand with Jide Songwolu. Hashtag Occupy Lagos. Thanks for that balance. <laughs> I had to do the balance, you, you know, it wasn't just the Honestly. whole. Because it's, well, it's the Certain it's the basic hashtag. things. I don't think that uh, anybody can say whoever wants to protest mm -hmm. should not protest. Right. So somebody there was saying that the protest, uh, proposed protest is pointless. No. Mm. If people are aggrieved, yes, they yes. have the right to protest. But the only thing is that the protest should be peaceful, should be orderly. It should not result in the kind of disruption of public peace that Lagosians witnessed yesterday at the Yanopaja area, or as was the case uh, a few days uh, earlier, also in uh, another part of Lagos. The second point, I hope uh, when they do the Occupy Lagos on uh, Saturday, it will not clash with the Lagos Marathon. Because the right, Lagos Marathon is, on is also on it's Saturday. It's going to be a big day tomorrow yes. on Saturday. So then the second point is that the uh, Lagos State Government clearly needs to do something about transportation in Lagos. And I will say it again, a proper review of the decision that has been taken with regard to uh, motorcycles and tricycles mm -hmm. should be carried out. Right. And the government should engage you know, the stakeholders, the affected persons, more in dialogue rather than talking down them. Maybe if government you know, offers us more explanation, even the people who are affected themselves, they begin to see reason. Yes. You know, with that. Well, government. like one of the Twitter users said, mm -hmm. in the long run, it will benefit us. You're correct by saying they should explain more on the reasons for this ban and provide an adequate means of transportation because it is really becoming a nightmare right the now. The picture of that Riddler and you? that lady's account of yes. leaving VI yeah, at uh, 3.45, spending eight hours Can you imagine? On there there are so yes. many different... Walking. Like, it's honestly speaking, it's too much. It's too much. Sometimes when you are stuck in traffic in Lagos, you wish 
you know, you could get a transponder that, you know, to just take mm -hmm. you to... I've, always, mean, just, I've always just thought about magically. investing in just helicopters, really. Every time I see this gridlock in, in um, Lagos, the transportation with the helicopters is the first thing that comes to mind because there's really no other Well, means. that's why Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, said that he invested in the helicopter in L.A. so that he could spend right. more time at home between with his right. children, etc., and get around and avoid the traffic, but... L.A. traffic is <sighs> as evil as Lagos traffic. Yeah. I don't blame him. But I'm just thinking of the damage to the economy of Lagos states with this type of total gridlock. Yes. I mean, it's awful. People can't it get to work. It might reverse yes. itself. People cannot get to it work. Can, Eventually, might, yes, but right now, yeah. it's not looking good. Well, the point that you made about the, hoping that the protests will be peaceful is very apt because, you know, there's been some violent protests since this whole Okada ban. There was one tweet that I saw of a, 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 a young girl being shot from... Yeah, so that got, it yes, is confirmed. Yes, yes. I, had, yes, I, had I saw it. I mean, I don't know if it's confirmed. It's just uh, on that social media. Yeah. There was a girl, a school girl that was shot. In fact, uh, you know, I understand that these Okada riders engage the police in shootout. Yes. You know, and on Saturday they could be more desperate. I don't think the police should and be so part of this because the, they they are saying that it's going to be a peaceful protest and it is our right to demonstrate. It is our right to yeah. no, protest. But the police have but the to police, be there. I mean, they shouldn't. They it shouldn't be, be a violent. It shouldn't be a stop. They should we allow them not. to protest. I don't know, you why, know why. You know. No, do you know no, what they I mean? should be allowed to protest. Protest, but it should not. They should be there, but not to try. Because well, how can a protest like this get out of hand? They're just marching. No, 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 no. Oh, since we sat down for the show today, I've received there. three messages about mm. things particularly or being planned to go left. So the police do wow. have to be alert. Of course alert. they have to be there. Exactly. Yes, but actually, I don't mean in terms of... Not to clamp down, To, to clamp no, down the whole system. They need to be there. Right, yeah. right. Well, still in Nigeria, the vice chairman of Kolokuma local government area in Bayelsa State, Brian Watari, has appointed a 118-year-old woman as his special advisor on elder so matters. Cute. Elder Danny Orogono was appointed on February 4th. Her letter of appointment, which was signed by one of the aides of the vice chairman, Bedford Ineye, read, It is my pleasure to inform you that you have been appointed as special advisor on elder matters to the vice chairman of Kolokuma Opokuma local government area. Your appointment is with immediate effect. Congratulations and accept the warmest regards from the vice chairman. Twitter users have reacted to this news. One user, Martin, wrote, while you're all talking about Ubasani and Occupy Lagos, the vice chairman of Kolokuma local government area in Bayelsa State has appointed a 118-year-old woman as his special advisor on elder matters. Last, last, Mama is an honorable. God's time is the best. Congratulations, Mama. We I love this. I love this story. I love this story. to have in that position. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I anyway. Like I mean, let's just uh, point it out for the benefit of those who may not uh, know what has exactly has happened in this case. Yeah. A consultant to the vice chairman of the uh, Kulukuma Okukuma local government mm -hmm. said she has been given this appointment not because they expect her to do anything, mm -hmm. but to honor her as the oldest person in the entire local government area. Mm -hmm. And also, secondly, as an indication that, you know, the local government cares for elderly people. Uh, and then that whatever yes. money she gets as a special advisor to the vice chairman of the local government, you know, we go to our upkeep. Well, while, you know, we may laugh at the story, I think that we should tell the, uh, both the chairman and the vice chairman of Kolokuma Opokuma that it is good that they are interested in yeah. caring for the elderly, but there are other things that they can also do. You know, within the community, for elderly, for the elderly, where did that one come from? In terms of, in terms of care, in terms of welfare, you know, that will be shared by every senior citizen within that local government. You have a bubble. You will burst. Just congratulate them both. It was oh such an amazing, super super amazing. I'm sorry. gesture. Her wisdom on the matter would be yes. untouched tonight. Well, let's see how that you know. works. Because they say when you're above 100, then you're thinking, uh -huh. you know, your thinking capacity Thanks, is not as astute as it should be. Anyway, Thanks, thank you very much, Thank you.